Greetings, Grey Witch here. So today I want to show you how to add mods to Farming Simulator 19. Now this is actually a request video. Someone requested for me to do this, so I try to do those as soon as I can whenever someone asks for one. So adding mods to Farming Simulator 19 is actually pretty simple. Now I only know how to do this on PS4, but I'm assuming that it is just as simple on Xbox and PC. Probably even easier on PC. So to add mods, you don't need a flash drive or any other craziness. Because that's what something I was thinking you were probably going to have to do. Is you were going to need that. But all you have to do is come right down to this little section that says mods. Now in here, each category has a ton of stuff that you can add. There's, you know, pretty much everything. Like right here in the maps. Everything. You know, there's all kinds of different categories. Each, each one has equipment or whatever it is that you could possibly want. So if you come over to a category. Like right here are the maps. You just click on that. And then it will show you all the maps that you can download. And then all you have to do is just pick whichever one and download it. Now you can see up here in the top, up across the top, that there are some different icons. If you use R1 and L1, you can scroll through those and those will show you different things. Like these are all the ones that I have installed. These are ones that need to be updated because some of them you will have to update. And this is downloads that I have actively going. This is DLC that you can add or buy. And this is the ones that are rated the best. And there's quite a few of them in here. And if you hit L3, it'll show top mods only or all mods. So that's something else you want to do. I'll click back and forth through those to see which ones are going the most. But there's quite a few in here. And a lot of them are really, really cool. Well, pretty much all of them are really cool. I haven't really came across any of them that were bad. So... It's pretty cool. <laughs> but these are all the ones that are rated the best. And then you have the ones that are the most downloaded next to that. And then the one that I usually go to the most is the latest. Because this will show you exactly what's come out, what's newly released. And they come out quite frequently. It's not like in other games where you get one DLC like once in a while. Mods come out multiple times a week. So you need to come back and check this all the time. Is there's always new stuff added and there's a lot of really cool things that they add so that's pretty much all of that up there so now what you want to do is say like you want to you want to find one you want to download so let's go into trailers come over here to one of these let's see this bottom one right here looks pretty cool so let this load in but we'll go to that one um, yeah right there Click on that, and then all you have to do is hit X to install. Yep, hit OK, and then you can click over to Downloads to watch it download. Now the thing you want to pay attention to is in the bottom right hand corner it says Used System Storage. Pay attention to that number. You want to keep it as low as possible. You don't want to run too many mods at the same time, because then you end up getting a blue screen. It's basically, it just crashes the game. So. Be very careful about that. But once you download all your mods and whatever you want to add, just load up the game. And then once it comes up, you'll have to go into here and find the mod that you actually just installed and then select it. That way, when you go into the game, it'll be available. So there it is right there on the right. Hit square to select it. And then hit X to start up the game. And then it'll load in. Now something I really like that we got on that last update is the loading bar at the bottom. You see where it says 20, 21%, all that. See, before we didn't have that, and it was just the spinny, loady thing that was up in the left-hand corner. Sometimes that would freeze up, and I thought the game was frozen, so I would restart it, and it was actually just loading in, and I was uh, you know, overreacting. But I like this little bar that we got now. That way I don't have to worry about that. I know that the game is actually loading in. So that's pretty cool. That wasn't the only thing we got, but that was one of the ones that was pretty cool. So now we actually have to where it says what the crop is that we're growing like instead of just having the little symbols so that's a big help too and all you have to do start up load into the game and it will sometimes it's a little sluggish and there you are you load into the game and then all you have to do is go into the same category in the shop that you installed the app from so you go over to trailers and all of your mods will be at the end of the list. So just scroll all the way over. 
there it is. So now all you have to do is buy it, and, it's, and that's yours to own in the game. That's that is it. It's pretty simple. Like I was saying, it's very easy to install these apps, the mods. Uh, you just remember to try to keep it down really cool. Don't try to add too many at the same time. You'll get blue screen. All right, well, this is Grey Witch. I hope this video helps you out, and I'll see you next time. Peace.